Still, from our emergency science bunker. We haven't left yet because we're still trying to get you that space news. Like, right now. We can't get out. We can't get out. This is space news. What's up, Internet? We're back with another episode of Space News, this time covering the most popular of all space agencies, not NASA, SpaceX. So 2016 has been a very good year for SpaceX. Uh, It's barge landing attempts of landing the first stages of their Falcon 9s in the Atlantic Ocean are at about a 50% success rate, which is very good. Yeah, for 2016. (laughs) Asterisks. With, and so the, now the grand total of recovered first stages by SpaceX is one by land and three by sea. They're actually running out of room in the hangar that they're keeping these all in. Wasn't that the midnight Paul Revere ride? Oh, no, that was one if by land, two if by sea. Anyway, uh, so yeah, we, they've landed three, which is incredible. Yes. And that means they're actually planning to start launching, reusing those sometime later this year, which is exciting because that's the whole point of this program is to be able to have reusable rockets. And many of these barge landings have been pushing the limits to what they believe could be landed because the entire reason they're landing in the ocean is that these are from flights that would not have enough fuel to get back to florida so they're coming in very hot very fast uh the last successful landing even spent all of its like crash padding in one of its legs and you can see it leaning on the barge as it came into port a little scary a little scary but the next mission that'll be going up is on July 18th, so we'll be able to see if they get another barge landing out of that mm-hmm. one, because the last one actually crashed when it landed. Got slowed down, and just before it got there, just had used too much fuel and just, you know, the usual thing happens. But now they have more information, and SpaceX has always said that every failure is a chance to learn. Yes. I feel like that's something that parents would say to their kids. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> but Elon Musk is not stopping at just landing on a barge. He wants to get us to Mars. And not only getting us to Mars, you know, once. Once. He wants to basically set up a Mars highway. He <laughs> wants to send missions to Mars starting in about 2018 and going with every launch window after that. So about every 26 months, so it's about every two years. There's going to be another another Red Dragon capsule being launched at Mars, sometimes with equipment, hopefully with equipment, so it's not just kind of like a, a wasted, la- it's not going to be a waste, but it's going to be a testing of the landing exactly. uh, systems of the Red Dragon, but also NASA could be actually putting payloads on there that could help with future uh, observational missions such as rovers and maybe even a space drone, because they, they've talked about doing a little <laughs> drone research on the Mars, but who knows. But if anybody, anybody's going to get us to Mars... It'll probably be Elon Musk yep. first. We'll see. So uh, Elon Musk has said that this will expand into human flights in about the mid-2020s. Uh, but Elon time is a bit faster than our time. Uh, but he's still pushing forward, still doing the good good work. Most likely, Elon time will still be maybe a year or two ahead of NASA time. Oh, yeah, qu- quite a bit. So that's so exciting that... The first person on Mars might actually be from a private company. Well, be launched on a private system rather than on NASA. Or it'll be a collaboration. That's the best case scenario. We're all about best case scenarios here. So thanks for watching. Thank you. We'll see you out there. Thank you for watching. Marcus and I return to YouTube during this limited series. If you liked what you saw, please like and co- like, comment, and subscribe below. And make sure to comment if you have suggestions on what kind of content you'd like to see for any additional limited series runs we may do in the future. Thanks again.